Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, but it's known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And as you can see, I am back home. And so uh, we'll resume our morning meditations from here in Detroit, and I thank you all for your prayers for travel mercies uh, as I've returned home to Michigan. Uh, we start a new book for our lesson, our first lesson for evening prayer, uh, and that is the book of Ecclesiastes. Now, we finished the book of Job, or at least portions of the book of Job, uh, where, as we see, Dr. Peter Kreeft describes the Bible as having three philosophies of life in three of the books. Job, of course, is that life is suffering. Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes is that life is vanity, that all the things we do on earth uh, and we do to please ourselves uh, is in fact just vanity. And so we'll begin with uh, chapter one at verse number two. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to the place where he arose. The wind goeth towards the south, and turneth again to the north, and it whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to its circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full, unto the place from whence the rivers come, thither they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof that may be said, See, this is new? It hath been already a whole time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. Now, nothing new under the sun. We're not talking about technology, right? Obviously, there's new technology uh, all the time. Uh, in fact, uh, while I was in Philadelphia, I'm continually amazed every time I visit. Sorry, I'm just kind of shaky the way I'm holding the camera. Uh, that every time I visit, there's new buildings. Uh, but the, the preacher here the, in the book Ecclesiastes uh, is talking about the way in which people think and behave. And when it comes to those things, there really is nothing new under the sun. In fact, theologically, we keep thinking, well, this is a new thing, but it, they're just warmed over heresies like we've always had, right? So there really is nothing new under the sun. We chase after things. And it's interesting how he builds it up. And he says, look, the eye doesn't get full of seeing and the ears are never satisfied with hearing. Uh, they never fill up, right? And that the rivers, that they run into the sea, the sea never fills up. And it's just one big cycle. And so as we go further into the book of Ecclesiastes, we'll see what he means by that cycle. So today is Monday. We do have 1215 Holy Communion. It is also the eve of All Saints Day, right? All Hallow's Eve. And because of that, uh, we will have 1215 Holy Communion, but we're not going to have evening prayer uh, so I can get home in time to help with the uh, things going on in my neighborhood. Uh, so I do hope that you can join us on Monday in church or watch here online live. And I hope that your Halloween, your All Hallow's Eve, is full of blessings.